I've got another garden update for you today. Um, one exciting thing is that some of my wildflowers are um, coming up. At least <laughs> I think that's what's happening and not weeds pulling, uh, popping through. Um, if I haven't mentioned this, I, I'm, I've been gardening for quite a few years, but I don't do very m much, so I will never claim to be an expert here. All of this, <laughs> all of this is experiment, basically, basically everything. <laughs> um, but here are my little wildflowers, um, and I've got a few. My dog has gone tromping through the bed a few times, <laughs> a few times now too. So um, we'll see what what ends up popping up. Um, other updates: the um, the bed that had all of the um, rodent holes burrowing through it. I shoveled out all the dirt, and um, and then yesterday my husband put up um, put the hardware cloth in and filled it back up with dirt for me. He also filled up, put hardware cloth in this bed and filled it up with dirt. And um, earlier in the week I did this bed as well. Um, all of the beds now have been topped off with dirt, all the main beds I should say. Um, this is the eyesore that I probably haven't shown you yet. These right here are my strawberries, which looks like they need some water. But notice all of the, the grass and weeds. Um, honestly, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get all of that out yet. Um, but it's quickly um, rising to the top of my priority list. Here is the best, probably the best thing that happened this week. Look at that. My husband put in a really nice potting area for me complete with um, a place to push all the dirt and <laughs> ta -da! my kids love this actually <laughs> that's probably their but by far their favorite thing they love to help dig in the dirt and um, now they have their own little place for their tools and I put my tools there too so um, that is that's all we got done this week um, uh, a lot of dirt shoveling and oh another thing that I found out the hard way this week is that the if you have access to endless supplies of CBD biomass spent biomass um, as I've used to put in my walkways or have started to put in my walkways uh, it's quite splintery <laughs> and when you wear crocs in your garden um, you very likely get some in your foot. So um, be careful with that. Maybe wear real shoes <laughs> instead of Crocs like I've been doing. Um, and uh, yeah, take care of your, your feet. Otherwise you're gonna have a splintery mess in your feet. So that's today's update. Next week, um, well, we'll see. Um, maybe plant some more things. Um, I have some frost cloth now that I can use. So um, maybe I'll plant some cold weather veggies this next week. All right, bye.